first thing I want to do is just kind of give you guys a panoramic. So this this is I'm gonna do like a room tour sometime down the line. But right now, you know, my room's here. This is my room. It's kind of small, but not not the worst. But then this whole area right here is my setup. This is the area. So we're gonna come in real quick and just kind of start off. I'm gonna do this part last, and I'm gonna do everything around it first. So pretty much, basically, what we want to start off with right here is my chair, DX Racer standard black chair. You got my Letterman jacket from high school, baseball, football, Letterman. Pretty cool back on the back of the DX Racer chair. So we're going to come over here and I'll show you guys like what's on the walls and stuff. Right down here I've got some movie posters. I have uh, Avengers Infinity War. Uh, this is Harry Potter and Death of Hallows Part 2. And this is um, Star Wars The Last Jedi. I also have some other stuff down there. That's all going to be on the walls of my apartment. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will show you guys obviously that when I am completely moved in. Up here we have my baseball jersey and football jersey for my senior year of high school, uh, which is pretty awesome. And then we come over here. So I'll show you guys what's on the wall first. So first here we have a human condition tour poster from John Bellion. It is signed by John Bellion. I actually had to meet him, which was so awesome. The concert was great. Such a good time. Coming over here, we have a bit of a kind of collage. We have a picture of Patrick Peterson getting an interception, a picture of me meeting Patrick Peterson and getting his autograph at the NFL experience for Super Bowl XLIX. I don't remember what that Super Bowl is, so I'm not even going to try to figure that out. Come down right here. This is another piece I got from that Super Bowl um, experience. It is signed by uh, Chris Davis, Antonio Cromartie, Greg Olson, and that's Kyle Rudolph. But the main piece of this is this one right here. Antonio Brown. The best wide receiver in the game. Antonio Brown. It is signed by Antonio Brown. So that's pretty dope. I have that framed as well. And then up on the wall right here is a movie poster for my favorite movie of all time. If you guys saw my movie, uh, my ten, top 10 favorite movies of all time yesterday, Ready Player One, the movie poster framed. It's awesome. I love it. And then I've got a Dustin Pedroia clock. It's, it doesn't work, but it's dope. I really like to have it up. So then this is, I have an L desk right here. Kind of, kind of, it's two desks put together. And over here is just kind of like where my knickknacks are and stuff. Back here, I just got some random papers and stuff. I have two piggy banks which are really dope, along with a packaged Thomas the Train. Thomas the Train was my my ish back in the day. I have a Red Sox mini helmet signed by Justin Masterson, one of the nicest dudes ever. He is one of the nicest players ever. And then I have a few pop figures. I have the Flash and Arrow, which you guys saw in my last set of video, and then I have another pickup. I got a Harry Potter pop figure as well. Down here we have my library. This is all sitting on top of my library. I love reading. My library goes all the way back here. But yeah, this is my entire library. I've got some books here. I've got, of course, a copy of Ready Player One right here. This will be a video later this week. I will be going through my library, showing you guys my favorite books, all the books I read, and all of that. If we come over here, we have a like toy lightsaber. We got some random stuff. That's just there's nothing to really worry about. Clorox disinfectant wipes. You always got to have the wipes. I have my uh, pair of Oakley sunglasses that I used for baseball. Um, I got a calendar here, which I need to flip to the right date. Archie Bradley bobblehead. Got it at a D-backs game. It was so awesome. I was actually at the, it was from the wild card game, that's what it's from, it's after Archie Bradley hit his triple, and I was actually at that game, which was so cool. And then of course I got the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You can't go wrong with the Baja Blast. And then up here, I got a picture of me and my dad back when I was in Little League. I have my high school diploma, but those are on top of this. This is what I like to call the Gronk Ball. The reason why is because right here, that is Rob Gronkowski's signature. I actually got to meet Rob Gronkowski way back in the day when I was a little kid before I knew what a dominant force he was in the NFL. This was like right after he got drafted by the Patriots. He was at some U of A uh, spring football game and I got to meet him. I got his autograph. It's so awesome. It's in this box. It's just so cool. And then I've got my Logic, The Incredible True Story um, vinyl. My favorite album of all music ever is that, The Incredible True Story by Logic. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole section right here. Ready Player One poster, awesome. Now we're going to get into the main section, the setup. So pretty much this is it. This is what I see every time I film. 
it's pretty dope. So I'm gonna kind of just come over. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff on the back first. So I have two lamps. That's my lighting setup. I have two lamps. They are very, very powerful lamps. You can see everything is illuminated very nicely. They're kind of jerry-rigged on like that, that's a tissue box. That's a lens cleaner boxes. They're kind of, but you know what? It works. It works. It really does. So that's really fine. I have no complaints at all with that. Back here, I have my external hard drive, which is connected to this USB port with a bunch of other things that goes into the laptop. I always have my um, external hard drive everywhere. All of my data, all my YouTube videos I've ever made are backed up on that hard drive. And then back here, I have a mount for both of my monitors. They're both on one mount. I used to have like the two regular mounts but I upgraded, got a single mount, it's right there, it's pretty dope. So we're gonna come along now, oh yeah, you know what, I'll show you over here. So we're gonna come over here. So I have my camera, the Canon 80D, it's really hard to see with the lights, I apologize. Let me just turn this off. It's gonna be dark, I believe. It's pretty dark. The Canon 80D, lights are coming back on. I apologize, guys. It's kinda, it's just kinda rough. Canon 80D with the Rode microphone. Again, I did an unboxing, like the best camera I've ever used. It's just, it's it's amazing, it's it's so awesome. Um, and that is on a tripod right here. If you guys can see it there, tripod right here. Up, right here, got the, uh, the uh, screen that flips out and yeah, it's awesome, there it is. And then of course it's in front of the mount, you guys can't really see it, but this is the base of the mount right here. On the base of the mount I have two 80D batteries on this charging thing. Can you really see it? There it is. Always charge. I always have two batteries charging and then one in the camera. That's how I work. And then I also have a Pelican case. And basically a Pelican case, it has, oh, my bad, slots for all of the SD cards. Then right here we have all my games. We have my PlayStation controller, we have my Xbox 360 controller, but these are all the games that I don't play on a regular basis, but like, you know, I'll make YouTube videos for stuff like that. Um, I have MLB 2K18, uh, NBA, I'm sorry, 2K18, Madden 18, The Show 18, Rainbow Six Siege, which I'm hoping to make some videos on eventually, Call of Duty World War II, and of course you guys saw the Harry Potter collection. Those are the games I have right there. Now, of course, we got to talk about the two monitors. The two monitors are 24-inch BenQ monitors. They are awesome. I've had them for years. They are just phenomenal. I would highly recommend if you're looking for a monitor, they're not so overly priced and they're really, really nice. And of course, they are beyond, they are, the displays are on the MacBook Pro. <sighs> this computer is a workhorse. It really is. I use it for everything editing, homework, you name it, I've done it on this computer. Everything. I got the Razer mouse, Razer keyboard. This keyboard, like I've said before, is absolutely awesome. I love the clicking sounds. And then I've got this big mouse pad from TESPA, which is the collegiate like league. Um, I do a lot of work with them when I'm with the Esports Association. And that's pretty much it. I've got, oh, and then down below I have my uh, PlayStation 4. You guys really can't see it. It's not lit up at all. And then, of course, the headset that I use, kind of battered and bruised a little bit, but it is the Astro A40. Uh, you guys can see the tape up here. kind of broken. I finally found my mic, so I can actually play with my friends, which is kind of cool. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the setup. It's 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 a nice set. I mean, I've been working on it for years now. I've been saving money. Gifts. Like, both my monitors were gifts. Um, the MacBook Pro was a gift for Christmas. You know, the camera was the birthday gift. Stuff like that. This is the, These have all, and I've bought some of this stuff myself. I bought the keyboard and mouse myself. You know, this is all stuff that has been built up into what I want to eventually have my perfect setup. And I think I will start to come to that with my apartment because I will be getting a new desk for my apartment. One that I've been wanting, well, I, one that I've been looking at for a long time that I think might actually be a really nice desk. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys for another video tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.